All right, welcome back. Now, why would they talk about putting an end to gender-based violence for inside Wibodo, Nigeria? Time for us to talk about a platform where they actually promote positive attributes of the Nigeria women. And these women, we actually go on this platform, they become like a role model to other young um, Nigerians, young female Nigerians. Now, join me, welcome. Um, four beauty queens inside the studio. Yes, all of them are from the Miss Nigeria pageant um, show. Um, first of all, uh, we get Opaluwa Emido Ojo, Miss Benue. I hope I pronounced your name well. <laughs> I try, Abby. Yes, you try. And we get Miss Oyo Eguika Oluwatosi. Yes. Good to have you. Thank Ogo, you. Ogogo Yvonne, Miss Gombe. Without Ogogo Nabinina. Yes. And now you're Miss Gombe. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then we get Esther Moore and Miss Quara. Good to have you in the house. Thank Beauty you. Thank queen. you so much. Thank you so now, much. talking about the Miss Nigeria pageant show, now before you actually go register for them, Waiting be your perception about the pageant show. Let me speak with Miss Benue. Oh yeah. All right, Miss Nigeria is, is is a very beautiful. It's a very big platform. It is mm -hmm. the perfect platform for me to express my femininity, for me to voice my opinions, for me to to just be out there, to put myself out there, to be me, to be confident. Mm -hmm. So yes, that is why I decided that yes, this is for me. All right. So speaking about, let, let me let me now talk to Miss Gumbe now. Oh go, go. I like your name because of my younger sister name. Thank you. People get this perception perception about pageant shows for inside Wibodo, Nigeria. They talk say yes, we understand. Say the documents I talk say not to imbibe the right um, attributes about the Nigerian women, but still, the um, most of this pageant show they actually showcase the Nigerian women in a very, in a light way they're not supposed to portray the woman in. And they expose the woman to a lot of um, issues. You believe, say, this is real? And is this true? Yes. The Miss Nigeria platform is a very beautiful one. And honestly, since I've been in camp, yes, they've made me feel so comfortable. They made me feel like I can be myself. You know, I can express myself in the way I feel, I feel best. So it's a beautiful platform. So it's really not true with the perception yeah. where people get about beauty pageant. Say, ah, no. the one who is actually sell woman who not to put women for top and uh, uh, show show glass, make not men start to they come. So it's not, not true at all. all. Not at all. Okay. At all. all right now, Miss Quara, I know so now don't stay for camp for one week. Yeah. What did you don't learn from that camping experience? Oh my God, my experience has been so awesome. It's been very educative. You know, I've got to learn a lot from even my fellow contestants. We've had sections with a lot of motivational speakers and it's been so educative so far. I've, I've grown, I can't say that for sure. I've grown more than the way I, you know, I've been yeah. so far so good. So it's, trust me, it's awesome. Now, Miss Oyo, now she talked two things. It's been very educative and she don't learn a lot. Tell us in practical terms, with me those things where you don't learn from that camping experience. I've learned how to be very comfortable, very reserved. Comfortable in what way? Okay, very comfortable with people around. Okay, like, to accommodate to people accommodate around. To accommodate people okay. around me very well. Mm -hmm. To be reserved, how to be calm. Wait now, hold on. <laughs> you say reserved. So before the camp, you not be reserved person. No, you don't I, give up to anybody like no. they give up to you. No, I am. Um, like, I became very conscious of myself. Okay, okay. yes, people are watching. I became very conscious of myself. I'm here, I'm representing the state. So I have to be like, okay, the best version of myself at all times. And the educating part of it, we had um, Dr. May Ikora speak to us and she was fantastic. She gave us reasons on why each and every one of us we are beautiful in our own way, in our own skin, and why we should all strive to be better. We should strive endlessly to be the better version of ourselves. All right, so all of now will answer this question, now, starting with Ms. Benue. Why do you think you're beautiful? Because she thought she's the woman, she, they're training now on why you're beautiful in your own ways. So why are you beautiful? Yeah, because I'm a woman. Women, as in, women are beautiful. Women, we are beauty personified. Mm -hmm. We are calm. We, we, anywhere we go to, we exude grace. We are just really beautiful. That's what I can say. So you just have to bring the beautiful part of yourself. Like, you have to go in there and, like, touch it. 
so figure you it touch out. It. Yes, <laughs> yes, you figure it out. I have to touch my own side. All right, Miss Oyo. Okay, just like she said, because I'm a woman, women, we are wonderful creatures. Like my dad used to say, women are special species from God. Like God really took his time to create us. I am beautiful because I look at myself and I'm like, wow, thank you, Lord. Thank you for your grace. Thank you, Lord, for everything that you have done. And I am beautiful because I love myself and I love everyone around me. So that's okay. what makes you beautiful. And because I am confident in my own skin. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, Miss Gombe. Okay. Um, just like she said, I'm beautiful because I'm a woman. I'm a woman and um, I can express myself, which is very important. And there are things that I would want um, other girls to, to see in me. And those qualities, I, I believe um, I can... I can be a role model to other girls. What are those qualities? Those qualities, being graceful, being able to give back to the society. What does it mean to be graceful? Um, elegant, um, carry yourself in a beautiful way. <laughs> yes, basically. And um, I'm just beautiful in my skin. All right. So. Please, I will not tell me say just what she said. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my God. Let's not do that. Okay. <laughs> so tell me what makes you beautiful oh, and what well. makes you unique. Yes, exactly. I'm unique in my way because I am passionate i'm compassionate i am fearless and confident and i would say i love people around me mm. i could give back i share love and that's beauty to me i like that so miss benway tell us one of the tasks where they will give you for inside camp and how will take actually um, achieve that task oh, okay so um we were to do an advert okay yes so advert on what on this um lacena water Okay. Yes. And then we have squads. So we are grouped. We are in our squads. And then we are going to make, do our presentation very soon. Okay. So, and may the best person win because okay. <laughs> it comes with a lot of benefits if you win. Yes. So we have been preparing and all that. Yes. And today we are going to make sure we give it to them. So apart from we have been preparing, how yeah. do you take actually contribute to this particular task? Uh, yes, um, I am the film director, like directing okay. everybody <laughs> on what to do and okay. how to give it, as in tell everybody, like give the best version of themselves on that day for the mm -hmm. advert, yes. So. Okay, I like that. Miss Gombe, in as much as another comment I talked to, the camp was sweet, it was <laughs> educative, it was that. You get any parts where you be actually go inside your room, you cry or was there any challenges in the camping, one week camp on a day? So far, I haven't had any challenges. Ha, everything just is smooth. So far, yes, <laughs> because they made us feel so comfortable. Honestly, like they make you feel like you're home. Just be yourself. Just do what you know how to do best. And um, the challenge is that I've actually not had any challenges. Personally, I, I okay. haven't had anyone. Okay, so Miss Oyo, how are you taking care about the Miss Nigeria um, pageant show and... When you be apply, you be think say you they qualified to go into it. Okay, I act, I've been following up the pageant for a while now. I think since 2017, and last day I had to come volunteer with them because I really wanted to learn more before I apply. I like that. Yeah. So when I applied, I was like, God, please, I need your <laughs> grace. Okay. God, please, I need your grace and everything. And it was wonderful. The audition during the audition, I was like. When I saw the girls, I was like, wow, okay, God, I just <laughs> need you. I just need you. And God was faithful. He was. So tell us your, miss, your audition process, uh, Miss Quara. What did they ask you? What did they make you do? We just want to know how the audition will be. Okay. Um, first of all, this is the first time ever they had an audition in Saba Delta State. So, wow, it was, it was shocking to me first because I, I actually didn't know the process was still even going on. And I just went on Instagram on a very faithful day and wow, they were coming to Asaba Delta State. That was amazing, first of all. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, wow, I, I think I would go. And then I applied. I went in, they asked very educative questions too, like, um, can we know your goals? Can we meet you? And I answered them and it was, just like that. I also prayed because I wasn't <laughs> sure exactly, you know, the way it is now. Yeah, and 
by the grace of God, here I am. So, oh. yeah. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you so you. much. So, Ms. Gombe, why do you think that you deserve to take the crown home? Wow. Um, first of all, I'm a very passionate and committed person. But then, every girl is a queen. Like, we all deserve to win this. That's the truth. But um, I'm really passionate about what I do. And I, I believe, and I hope me the best girl win. But um, I think... Oh, I also deserve to win. Okay. So, yeah. All right, Miss Oyo, why you deserve to win at all? <laughs> okay. Just like she said, every girl is a queen. Every girl is now the don't best start with that just as she said. <laughs> no, see, but it's like they taught you in this camp. They <laughs> no. never say just as she said. <laughs> no, no, we are all queens. Uh -huh. We are all the best girls. Yeah. But I am passionate. I strongly believe in the organization's advocacy of putting women in the forefront of every sector. Yeah. I love myself and I have heart for the people. I like that. So, Ms. Okay. Benue? Yeah, okay. So, we are all beautiful girls. We are all beautiful people. Um, I have seen a lot of beautiful girls, but um, I know that I'm a change maker. I, I Go, I, I'm so passionate about women empowerment. I try to volunteer here and there in different places for women. And well, I believe that yeah, we all have what it takes, really. Mm. <laughs> but you have it more. <laughs> we all have what it takes. Tell your market, like <laughs> We all have what it takes. Tell your market. You know. <laughs> all right, Miss Clara. All right. Um, I believe strongly with the Green Girl Project their advocacy and I believe I have what it takes to go with the flow, to work with them. Every girl is a queen. Mm. Every girl is a queen. All right, and thank you very much, so nice I said the house. The Miss Nigeria pageant show will actually show on the 30th. Yes. yes. 30th of November. Yeah. Um, for where? Eco for Eco Hotel. So if you want to get more information, follow them on top of Instagram. They did there. Follow their website for you to get more information concerning the Miss Nigeria pageant show. Thank you very much and we wish you all the best. Thank, Thank you. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.